gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. It's a critical time for NASA and our nation's leadership in space, as, as you well know. Uh, with the looming retirement of the space shuttle and the risk of a growing space gap, we're losing tons of, tens of thousands of additional jobs across the United States. These are jobs and industries that develop the cutting-edge technology that raises our standard of living and helps American businesses compete. NASA has been at the cutting edge of technology, leading to so many devices and luxuries that we use every single day. Imagine what a day without, a NASA, without NASA products would be like. Uh, first, you may not have had a good night's sleep if you normally sleep on one of those temper foam mattresses or pillows, uh, which were originally designed uh, by NASA as a shock absorber. Uh, you may not have even, you may have even overslept without NASA's quartz timing uh, in your alarm clock. Being green won't help you get ready for work in the morning if you have a solar hot water heater installed in your roof because uh, cosmetics, toothpaste, and many perfumes find their roots in NASA. Before you head out the door, you may have difficulty getting an accurate weather forecast due to the lack of weather satellites coming out of our nation's space program. Better use a landline telephone to call work and let them know you're running a little behind because cell phones and other wireless devices uh, will be out of service on a day without NASA-derived technology. Getting to work might be a challenge as well, particularly if you drive a hybrid. The lithium-ion battery in your hybrid was developed with NASA engineering expertise and tested at the Kennedy Space Center. Get rid of that temper foam seat you ride your motor on your motorcycle that you might ride to work. Don't plan on flying to that vacation or important job conference. NASA developed flight tracking and management software is used by air traffic controllers. It probably won't surprise you that flight safety software was developed by NASA. Just in case you find yourself on an airline, it may be a bumpy ride without NASA software that informs pilots of turbulent conditions. Work may be a little difficult, too, without access to NASA computer technology and their wireless headsets. These are just some of the reasons uh, we must all support the, the President's promise to close the space gap between the shuttle and the Constellation program and keep America first in space. Um, I will share more about NASA technology with you in our next uh, space moment. But in the meantime, uh, on an unrelated but another important topic, uh, as a member of the Contaminated Drywall Caucus and a representative of an area impacted by contaminated drywall, I want to take a few minutes to draw attention uh, of my colleagues to this also very important issue. Between 2004 in 2008, many homes were built using what has turned out to be organically contaminated drywall. Homes in 26 states and the District of Columbia are affected. It is particularly problematic in areas like Florida where we have high humidity. A little over a year ago, it was discovered that the source of a number of corrosion issues and health symptoms were likely due to con contaminated drywall originating in China. Since then, we've been working hard to find a solution and what we've discovered is pretty disturbing. The contaminated drywall consists of toxic and semi-toxic substances which release harmful gases. Many of these homes are filled with a pungent sulfuric odor, which has since been linked to adverse health conditions. Some families have already been forced to move out of their homes for fear of losing long-term health effects. These gases are also responsible for devastating corrosion to many standard household materials, such as copper and brass fittings, air conditioner coils and electrical systems, and even fire alarms. We don't know if there is a valid remediation protocol short of pulling all the contaminated boards out and replacing them. The Consumer Product Safety Commission has been tasked as the lead federal agency and is working with the Department of Housing and Urban Development and the Environmental Protection Agency to find solutions. The Consumer Product Safety Commission will soon release a study to answer some of the questions. They are also working on a remediation protocol. The Consumer Product Safety Commission must work closely with all parties, seriously consider the results of private studies, and share the results of their own studies with all stakeholders. We need all parties to be part of a quick and permanent solution. I ask all of my colleagues to join me in thanking all those who are working so hard on this issue and in calling on the CPSC to bring forward their study results quickly. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. I yield back.